Good. Now, listen, the last touches of the federal budget aren't being added right now. Most of the departments, so defence, education, health and so on, have done their numbers. It's a matter of now writing the federal final budget speech, printing the documents and waiting for eight days when the Treasurer hands it down. This year so far, there's been relatively little leak. That appears to be a new strategy of government. Rather than workshopping its ideas, think raising the GST or changing negative gearing rules, it's now springing policies on the community. The most recent example changed the citizenship and 457 visa rules. That makes government look more decisive and gives Labor less chance to hijack the debate with its own ideas. Bill Shorten and Chris Bowen, ahead in the polls, are sensibly quiet about their own policies. They react to government. Now, note the one thing supposed to be in the budget. A whole package to support first home buyers has also been surprisingly quiet. It's not to say it's disappeared altogether. More likely that it's not going to be the magic bullet some people would like it to be. And that's a problem with budgets these days. Rather than containing the great shocks they once did, they tend to be conservative politically. It's almost an ongoing narrative of how government will eventually solve the nation's rising debt and deficit problems. But one of our country's most senior economists, Deloitte's Dr Chris Richardson, is having none of it. He lays it out bluntly that this generation of voters and politicians, the wealthiest this country's ever seen, has stood by and allowed spending to rise with little constraint, while income has dropped. As he says, we have chosen to be high-spending and low-taxing nation, and that's unsustainable. But short-term, you can bet that a government behind in the polls is not going to try and fix that problem this year. There's also an interest rate decision tomorrow. It will be on hold. Let's go to the market this morning, and what we can see is the Australian dollar. 74.72 US cents and 68.5 euro cents as well. Gold prices up just a touch over the weekend. Oil just below $50 US a barrel. The Dow Jones Index on Friday down by 40 points and the Oil Ordinary is here up by just three points. Carl, Lisa, an interest rate decision tomorrow and as I say, it will be on hold.